The devastating impact of climate change is now touching all of our lives. I didn't think it would happen that quickly. The massive heat wave slamming Arizona. Canada's last fully intact ice shelf has also become a casualty of climate change. A fortnight of torrential rain has seen floodwaters at the highest levels in 20 years. More horrific pictures coming out of Greece overnight as the country experiences its most extreme heat wave in 30 years. Greater storms, floods, heat waves, ice sheets and glaciers melting. Sea levels rising and it's happening much faster than we thought was possible. The science on this is now clear. We're facing a man-made disaster on a global scale. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the world's leading authority on climate science, has now published its report showing just how close humanity is to the brink of potentially irreversible disaster. It's the most important report any of us will read in our lifetimes. Unless there are immediate, strong, rapid and large-scale reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius will be beyond reach. The report shows that in the next 20 years, global warming, the average temperature at the Earth's surface over a period of 20 years, is expected to reach or exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius above the late 1800s. However, if we rapidly reduce greenhouse gas emissions, if we can reach global net zero CO2 emissions around 2050, it is extremely likely that we can keep global warming well below two degrees. If we do this, it is more likely than not that temperature would gradually decline to below or around 1.5 degrees Celsius by the end of the century with a temporary overshoot of no more than 0.1 degrees Celsius. But if global greenhouse gas emissions remain around today's levels in the coming decades, we would reach two degrees of global warming by the middle of this century. With every additional amount of global warming, we will see greater changes in the climate. Every additional half degree of warming will cause increases in the intensity and frequency of hot extremes, heavy precipitation and drought. At two degrees of global warming, heat extremes would more often reach critical tolerance thresholds for agriculture and human health. At a global scale, extreme daily rainfall events intensify by about 7% for each additional degree Celsius of global warming. As you see, future further changes depend on future human influence. The warnings are clear. If we don't take dramatic action right now, we face irreversible damage to the natural world and the collapse of our societies. What happens next is up to all of us.